Cornwell. And Deborah. And we have special guests. Katie. And Danielle. <laughs> and we're here live to do another opening of Universal Yums. So we're going to see what's in the box. Yeah, we are. Yeah. But first, we're going to share this real quick. Yeah, we are. As soon as I remember yeah. how. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, there we are. So, first time ever, there's no clue on the box of where this yum yum is from. So, we'll, we'll have to find out. Right? So, we have no clue. We have no idea this time. Normally, we have an idea. So, let's see what part of the world we are going to be going to. I did nothing. Ready? Can I open it? Can I open it? Good. Okay, and so Kate and Danielle, from watching us, got their own box. So we're super excited about that. All right. Ooh. Oh, oh snap. There's a sticker. <laughs> Home of the world's longest railroad. Anyone have any idea where the world's longest railroad might be? So I see what they did. The stickers that they would put on the box, they gave it to us. You know how sad I was to like have to break the stickers sometimes? So that's super cool. We're going to Russia tonight. Oh, snap. Oh, are you prepared? Okay, for and as always, ah, at the end, yes, we'll yes. do our best yum, second best, weirdest, and least favorite yum, which is no longer on this piece of paper, but we do it the old way because we like it better. Alright. Okay. Dig it. Alright, Russia. Oh, there's a little ballerina on there, the Russian ballet. Very famous. Very, very, very famous. Okay. Alright, what shall we try first? Oh, We're gonna try. Oh, you are even in the same order. Great. We're gonna nice. do this one first. That one. Okay. So, these are mushroom croutons. This Here. is your job. Oh, this is my job. Yeah. This is your dance mm -hmm. space. This is my dance space. Points for anyone who knows where that's from in the comments. This seems weird. Mm. It, it, it's a lot weird. <laughs> So this is our bol bole, I don't know, I would say it's Spanish. Bolete mushroom bread bites. They don't smell that bad. Taste Russia's award-winning wild mushrooms. Mm. This will be interesting. It doesn't smell bad. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ding, ding, ding. It's crouton. Yeah, but it's mushroom. Yeah. Ready? Crispy little, crispy little crouton looking thing. All right. All right, off you go. All right. Mushroom hunting is Russia's most popular pastime. So much so that most local 10-year-olds can easily distinguish edible varieties from poisonous ones. They're not mm. bad. They're definitely interesting. I, I like feel it. feel like I just had communion. Right. Little yeah. communion wafer. Yeah. yeah. Sinners. That's not, that's not bad. As someone who okay. doesn't like mushrooms, it was okay. Dancing. You don't like mushrooms? Mm-mm. -mm. You don't like I, no, I love mushrooms. She does. I do not. Oh. I have mushrooms in everything. I love mushrooms. Even things that aren't supposed to have mushrooms. So I have no clue what these are. It's all in Russian. Yep, the Vasvidanya chips. Vasvidanya chips. It's snack time. This is one you Okay. Yep. So these are barbecue kebab potato chips. Fresh Russian barbecue flavor. No skewers needed. Oh. That's a, that's it's a, a very, yeah. It's it like a has the flavor of authentic Russian shashlik, a meat kebab that Russians have been cooking up for centuries of summers. Shashlik. It's a blend of onion, vinegar, and spices, and sometimes a splash of vodka. Eee. Can't go wrong with that. Mm. All right, in you go. It tastes like meat. Yeah. It smells like potted meat. Yeah. It kind of has that taste. Huh. Mm-hmm. That's a taste. I knew <laughs> you were going to say, whenever I go, ugh, and Lou goes, you know, this isn't bad. I mean, this is, this it's isn't bad. It's a, it's, it's, it's kind of like having a Swedish meat. Okay. Like, that's what it reminds me of. Okay. Um... Definitely okay. interesting. Right. And yeah, everybody takes a drink. It's interesting. It's interesting. I'm guessing it has cheese. Got big old cheese. 
These are Soviet sea cheese potato chips made with absurdly addictive Russian cheese. Time to try the devil's apple. You know it better as the potato. <laughs> the devil's apple is the <laughs> potato. I didn't know that. That's oh, good. That was, that's awesome. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that is a stinky chip. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay, so... Uh, oh, the devil's apple stinks. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Let's go here. How is it? Cheesy. Cheesy. Cheddar cheesy. Mm -hmm. Cheddar cheesy. Like cheddar cheesy. Yeah, so it doesn't say what kind of cheese. Um, no. Sovietsky cheese, actually, it says. It kind of so tastes like spray cheese. Spray cheese? Yeah. 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 I can get that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, I think you have no, done. It's no, it's not terrible. I think that's savory. And it tastes better than it smells. Everything else is sweet, so. It doesn't even taste like what it smells like. Oh, when there's a yum yum bag. Yes. You know that's Don Lemo's favorite. That is. Okay, well, what do you want to do next? Let's do these. They're squishy. Um, hey, everybody, tuning in. Whatever this is, it's definitely squishy. It's like a gummy. There's a few different flavors yeah. in there, so they're gummies. Somebody's favorite gummies. I'm excited for these. Oh, that smells like yummy gummies. Okay, so these are strawberry, caramel, and vanilla gummies. Yeah, they are. So there's like different colors. Yeah. Right. What color do you got? <laughs> That's caramel. Okay, so apparently Russians celebrate Unity Day. Unity. On November 4th. Unity. Unity. Um, and they eat these. Yeah, they do. So, you are you must be having vanilla? I think that would be the caramel. Yeah, caramel? The oh, vanilla. that's vanilla. Oh, yeah. Strawberry. Strawberry, vanilla, caramel. All right. All right. Oh, those are good. Caramel. They're a bit uh, hard. They're kind of hard for a gummy. Very chewy. It's just a hard gelatin. Mm-hmm. Not bad in flavor. Can try another flavor? Yeah. Or one's enough? No, I'm going to try this one. Okay. Yeah, the strawberry is pretty good. Hi, it's a very, like, Also, if you strawberry. mix them up together, they're supposed to create a whole new taste in your mouth. All right. Oh, Do, no. it. Do it. Do it. Do it. See the back of it? Do it. Mix them all together. The caramel and the vanilla is supposed to give you this, like, I don't know. Oh, different flavor combination. Yeah. Put um, them all together. Do it. Just all the flavors. <laughs> all if the flavors. If Lisa was here, Lisa would do it. I'll do it. All right, all the flavors. All the flavors. Mm -hmm. I got to give a shout out to Lisa mm -hmm. Everts, who's tuning in right now, for the best Halloween care package I've sent to my kids with every weirdo, rando snack she could find. I tracked them down. Triforce. Okay. Of gummy snacks. So that's strawberry, caramel, and vanilla all going in. All going there. Super chewy. Kind of a mistake level chewy. Yeah. Mistake level chewy? <laughs> well, you know. Y'all didn't want a napkin in case you needed to spit something out. No, mm -hmm. it's not. Horrible. It's not bad in yeah. flavor. It's very yeah. chewy. Lots okay. Lots Just the vanilla and caramel is really tasty. nice. I know. I want you guys to eat this next because I think that's honey. Mm. Big pocket thing next. Oh gosh. Wow. I spanked it for ya. Very good. Hmm. It's a hard candy. It's oh, snacky. but this is this little gingerbread. I'll let oh. you guys can finish chewing if you want. I won't rush you. Oh. This is actually um, orange marmalade and cinnamon oh. prionic. Oh. It is a traditional gingerbread with candied orange jam. Well that sounds no, delicious. Amazing. It smells really good. It's got a dough made of honey, eggs, flour, cinnamon, and other spices. And it's and not as hard as marmalade. it sounds. It's not as hard as it sounds. Yeah, that piece broke off pretty easily. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I didn't like it. That's okay. It oh, happens. That's all good. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had pieces fall. It was a big piece, too. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? It's really good. Very dry. Very oh, dry. sorry about your connection problems, Lisa. But I thanked you. I shouted you out. It'd be yeah. really good with tea. Mm -hmm. yeah. I haven't yeah. found the mm -hmm. Thanksgiving candy corns yet, though. But I am looking. 
Does anybody pronounce that? No. Do it up. But if not, it's orange marmalade and cinnamon prionic. Okay, what's next? You ladies choose the next one. Oh, yeah. oh man. Um. How is this little chocolate thing? Okay. Ooh. Oh, mm -hmm. Milk pear. Okay. Danielle, you want to tell us about the milk pear? Still trying to chew through the bread. Ripe <laughs> pear milk chocolate. It's milk chocolate with an ooey gooey pear filling. Ooey gooey. Ooey gooey. I love ooey gooey. I'm not sure I've ever had pear filling. Okay. Oh, it's in breakable, yeah, it's in yeah, it's in little chunks yeah. like a Cadbury mm -hmm. caramel bar. Instead, it has pear filling. It looks pretty green on the picture too. Let's see if it's actually green. No. No. Yeah, it's like a translucent. Yeah. It definitely. Hmm. I don't know. There's something in there. It's tasty. I really like that. That's pretty yum. Delicious. Right? Pear milk chocolate. Who knew? That's actually really good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Note it. That might be your best yum. Okay. This is so far. Well, let's do this one. These are the ones I usually don't like. Thanks for making it. So this is white chocolate and hazelnut cream wafer. You know, usually I don't like the wafer things when they when they when they show up. There's a wafer like every country has a wafer snack. Why? Wafers are delicious. Wafers You're are biased. delicious. <laughs> <laughs> you have bad wafers. Okay. This yum is a fairy tale. Mm -hmm. Oh my. No, really, its name, Ordinary Miracle, is based on the name of the title of a Russian fable in which a wizard transforms a man into a bear who then falls in love with a princess. Okay, Ordinary Miracle. You guys are about to have Ordinary Miracle, white chocolate and hazelnut cream wafer. It's a miracle. Crunchy. That's okay. I busted that. All right. Mm -hmm. If you're going to have a wafer, you might as well fill it in with whatever this is. What is this again? Yeah, Thanks, what is Julia. It? White chocolate. It is. Chocolate. It's Ordinary Miracle. That's its name, in whatever mm -hmm. that Russian is. That yeah. Russian translates to it. And it is white chocolate and hazelnut cream wafer. Yep. It is very creamy and yep. has a very mm -hmm. light undertone yep. of the hazelnut. Okay, well, a wizard who transforms into a bear and falls in love with a princess. Bam. It works. It does. It's very Apparently, it's delicious. Wafer. You want a chocolate again? Well, this one's squishy. Squishy chocolate. Squishy. It's squishy chocolate. Mm -hmm. Might be another way for. No, or no, it's squishy. Fruit. Squishy? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, because it's boiled milk and chocolate cake. Oh. I thought it was like a chocolate bar, but it's. Mm. And it's crafted by Russia's most famous chocolatier. Uh oh. Is that who's on the front of this package? Yep. You are now locking eyes with. A Russian icon. Seriously, barring President Putin, there's no more face more familiar. That's because this treat called Alyanka is a popular Russian girl's name. It's the country's most famous by far. Okay. Okay. The company insists she's not a real person, although several local ladies have claimed to be the inspiration behind the little girl on the wrapper. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Same thing. Kids are like, that's my man over there. It is the exact same recipe as the one from 1966 when they first <laughs> made it. They have not changed the recipe at all. It is a ridiculously creamy caramel made by boiling sweet and condensed milk. Yeah, it is ridiculously creamy. It looks very creamy. It's very. It is lovely. supposed to be salty, savory, and seriously scrumptious. That's how I describe myself on my Instagram. <laughs> you only follow me on Facebook, you're missing out. Unless you're related to me, in which case stay off my Facebook, uh, Instagram. Or you work with me. Nope. It tastes like a Russian Swiss cake. 
That is delicious. Yeah? yeah. I'm not a fan. Not a fan? No. No. That was no. good. No, she's like, it's There's not something a fan over about there. it that, like, an undertone that Boiled I'm milk. not a fan. It, it needs a drink with it. But... Yeah, I agree. Boiled milk. Cheers mm-hmm. to that. Mm-hmm. Thanks. This is not a TikTok braid. This is just a lazy Denver braid, but thank you for the compliment. No tutorial this time. I was lazy. Okay, let's do this uh, white chocolate bar with almonds. It's fancy. There it is. It's decadent and it has whole almonds in it. Not sliced or chopped up. Whole almonds. (laughs) Yeah, it's not easy to open. Just, yeah. We're just, we're just gonna finish oh, a sec and get some scissors. So, so it's easy to tell when it's springtime in Russia. You just have to look for the fiery hills. Okay, the hills aren't literally on fire, phew, but they are covered in Prunus tenella, Russian Russia's famous fire hill almond trees. Named for their branches, covered top to bottom with vibrant red flowers. Okay, that must be pretty. I could, I, I'd like to see that. Um, take a bite of this decadent white chocolate bar filled with whole Russian almonds, and you'll taste for yourself why Russians are so excited to see their hills set aflame every year. That's really good. <laughs> and we don't want to hear anyone in the comments is like, white chocolate isn't chocolate. Get over yourself. I've had a lot of white chocolate with nuts in it. Mm-hmm. This is... By far, up there. All right. Yeah, this is. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And they gave you a whole bar like that. Yeah. Like on Halloween, yeah. when you go to the house, it gives out the, full, yeah, you know, the full size candy like, bars as opposed to the little ones. That's yeah, man. That's. Yum yum box, looking out for you. We're gonna eat some cookies now. There we are. There's no cookies. Mm hmm. Can't find them. I lost them. They're gone. They're not in here. Oh, See, the they, it gets me. Oh, yeah. And they started making them different colors over there, and I just don't like the shirt. Okay, these are orange and vanilla biscuits. If it's Christmas time in Russia, expect lots and lots of oranges. Mm. Mm -hmm. They're a stocking stuffer staple. (laughs) Well, they are light and thin. They're they're very thin. (laughs) Horse fit. How's it going over there, Don Mama? You keep it up? I'm working on it. That chocolate is so Man, it's sure for a show. You gotta keep up. Right? Look, I was trying difficult. to savor that chocolate. Trying to savor that white and then I had to wash extra it down almonds. That's fair. I'm also cheating because I have her. Right? There you go. I'm not really helping. <laughs> You're reading. I'm reading. Right? I'm the reader. Or the eater. Yep. The reader. <laughs> and the eater. Really the reader and the eater. So it's kind of funky. Right? I found it's. It's kind of like a basic sugar mm. cookie with orange flavor. Need some tea? Hot tea and... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my blueberry green tea would go good with it. Yeah, it smells mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. you need some hot tea. Yo, they're winning right now. So Russia has been pretty all right, right? Like... There's an extra on point. Mm-hmm. Like, You got one snack left and your yum yum. Mm-hmm. It has a little thing that you can pull open. Wow. Mm. <laughs> it's we learned that now. All right, so we got one more little nuts and milk chocolate wafer. Again with the wafers, Russia. Okay. This is Russia's softest, nuttiest, and cakiest wafer. 
That's crazy. That sounds. Got it? Yeah, they just put, you know, the nutrition so label over where you would open right. it. I want to make sure you read it. Well, they also want to make it in English for us. Mm hmm. It's like a brownie. Yeah, yeah. You're winning. Oh, wow. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. I won that round. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did. Touche. Oh, my. It's not like a brownie when you try and break it. Uh -huh. Wafers. Crumbly little efforts. Yeah. <laughs> it's cheating. I get too cheap when I go for How is it? It tastes like a Reese's peanut butter cup. Really? In a wafer. Okay. Softest, nuttiest, and kinkiest wafer ever. Reese's peanut butter cup. So we just have the yum yum bag next. <laughs> Feels like it's got two yums in there for you. But one of the yums has three flavors, mm -hmm. so you'll eat. We'll each have to do a different flavor. And they're gummy, so let's do that first. Let's oh. do the gummy first. Oh, so. Is that coconut? Maybe. That's no, the, the other one is. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, this mm -hmm. one has ripe mango, black currant, mint, and strawberry pepper. All right. So this would be mango, strawberry pepper, black currant. Yeah. Oh, be brave. I have the black curd. You guys are missing a red one. Does anyone want to try the red one? Mm, no. 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 All right, <laughs> Donald. No one wants the strawberry pepper. Strawberry pepper? Yeah. Mango. So this is a fruity jelly candy mm -hmm. made with locally called locally called marmalade. Oh, my. I really, really like lot, the texture. But it's a lot softer than I was expecting. Yeah. You just go like right. Like, mm -hmm. Someone loves gummies. Someone loves gummies. Someone loves mango. Put m mango and gummy together. Life is good. I can't be mad at this. Um, I can only be mad at this because the only did one. Did anyone try the black currant mint? How was that? Mm, not so good. It, no, it was good. It tastes like I uh, had a very sweet tea almost in jelly form, I guess. Anyone want Tom Momo to try the strawberry pepper? Do it. Do it. Outnumbered. It doesn't help when I raise my hand up so I get a good shake on it. Mango, yes. Current, no thanks. But shouldn't Don Manuel try the strawberry pepper, though, Julia? <laughs> so, you know, just red, red bowl. Well, you didn't spit it out. I'm not sure you ever spit out a yellow. Little, little, little tang to it. That's probably the pepper. Mm. Now, <clears throat> our last yum of the evening is a coconut and white chocolate hazelnut ball. So, a little factoid of trivia: Russia boasts the coldest and Coldest inhabited town on earth. So, but other parts of the country are subtropical. So, the city of Sochi, Sochi, located on the Black Sea coast, is the Russian Riviera. It's 80 degrees in the summer. It's got dolphins. I don't know. Sochi, 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 Sochi something. On the, on the Black Sea. On the Black Sea. It sounds like a poem. <laughs> yeah, so this is a shredded coconut coated white chocolatey whole hazelnut filled ball to tickle your Russian tropics. Yeah, tickle them tropics. Tickle those tropics. <sighs> yes. Um, mm. It's definitely very coconutty just from the smell. Mm -hmm. The tiny village of Oimi, Oimai, Oimai, Oimayakan, Oimayakan is the coldest inhabited place on earth. Its temperatures hang around negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit during the winter, and the record low was negative 96 back in 1924. Wow. No thank you. Is that where you
before the Olympics. So yeah, I think so. How do you say it? Soki, Saki, Sochi, Sochi? I don't know. All right, we need a recap. There we go. Okay, recap, hold them up, Danielle. Ready? The ripe pear milk chocolate that everyone lost their minds about. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The Sovietsky cheese potato chips. Mm -hmm. The boiled milk and chocolate cake had a little girl on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The everyone lost their minds over the white chocolate and hazelnut cream wafer. No, not that one. That's not the lost mind one. That's the little lumpy one. Mm. Yeah. That guy. The exotic fruit jellies. The coconut hazelnut and white chocolate ball. <laughs> The mushroom bread bites, the little croutons. I think they're in the green. Bag. Yeah, that one. Croutons. The nuts and milk chocolate wafer. Little in the box. Oh, wafer. Um, the cookies, orange marmalade and cinnamon per gingerbread cookies. Oh. So cheap. Thank you. Okay. The almond white chocolate bar. Uh, barbecue kebab potato chips. Yeah. Strawberry caramel and vanilla gummies. And the orange and vanilla biscuits. Okay. My favorite one to do. Worst yum. Mm. Mm. Honestly, for me, it's going to be this coconut thing, but that's only because I absolutely hate coconut. Wow. Yeah. And like the hazelnut was okay, but not enough to oh, outweigh no. the coconut taste. Mm. I wasn't a huge fan of the cheese chips. Cheese chips? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did make a face at those. And I think mine's was uh, this guy here. Oh, the. I don't remember the name of it. The nuts and milk chocolate wafer. Yeah. Yeah. It but was not the softest, nuttiest, cakeiest for you. I've had softer, softer, <laughs> nuttier, cakeier. <laughs> It wasn't okay. horrible, but out of out of everything, if I had to pick a worse, that's so, the yucko. Like I'd still eat it. Okay. All right, fair. Um, weirdest yum. Yeah. Most unique, weirdest, weirdest yum. Mm. I'd say those gummies. These Which ones? ones? Those gummies or, or these oh, squishy gummies? These squishy gummies. Okay. Their texture was very different, and they had layered flavors to them. Okay. I think it was bad. Like it wasn't bad. I think I have I think to I go agree with Kate. With these guys, yeah. they they were it was they're pretty filling for a chip. Huh? Okay. So it was but, your weirdest. Yeah. Was, All right. Was weird. I didn't expect it. Okay. All right. And Danielle, you voted for the weirdo gummies too. Yeah. Weirdo okay. gummies. Weirdo gummies. All right. Then second best young, mm -hmm. second favorite. I'd have to say the orange marmalade gingerbread thing. Orange marmalade ginger? Yeah. Oh, this one. Yeah. This one. Okay. Second best. Second I would go best. with the pear chocolate. I was trying to get him to look, but I don't think he was not quite. Yeah, well, no, because I'm, I'm debating because it's between that one. This. No. Probably between these two. Right, right. You no, I'm on mind over this. For a second, we're talking second best, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, Pro I was in the same boat as you. I just went with the chocolate. Yeah. Okay. And, and for uh, like, these things are, are, are young too. Like they're going to be gone. <laughs> he does this. Y'all know he does this, right? Mm -hmm. Has yeah. trouble choosing. They're going to be gone like by the time. a theme through his life. Yeah. That's, that's why I love Universal Young. They give you a whole back. <laughs> box of a dozen <laughs> different snacks and every month from a different country come on that was what's cool okay. that? so you got all your little so you know, these are, these these are my second best snack okay you get one you can vote one for me okay yeah. now best snack everyone favorite snack mine's the pear chocolate okay i absolutely love this this was that sweet cake right yep i would go with this wow. okay and the white and a gummy okay that mango gummy was light okay. <laughs> 
All right, y'all, that was Russia. Yum yums. Delicious. Oh. Their snacks are on point. I'm not mad yeah. at You know, last good. ones were really good, too. Yeah. Um, Scandinavia yeah. was delicious yeah. also. Like, it's yeah. been not so, not so <laughs> tough. Mm. Yeah. Russia, yeah. Got, Russia got a lot of yum snacks. Yeah, they do. Oh, thank you. Spain, we're talking to you. Yeah. Up your snacky game. Yeah, you do. Up it. Go. Go on. Okay, that's it. We're wrapping up. Yeah, we are. Huge shout-outs to our guests. Yes. Thank you all guys for... Joining us, joining mm-hmm. the Universal Yum World. It's not Thanks a sponsor. But you can sponsor uh, us if you want to. Yeah, please do. You know, send Hit us, us up, Creativity Corner. Send, send us a message. Send us, send us a we message. encourage it because that's how we got here. See? Yeah. It's working. Right? We'll come and for, Lisa. We'll convert the world. For two now. Two. Universal Yum's two. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but hope you guys are staying safe out there. Enjoy. Watch the debate tonight. Do it. Vote. Do it. Mm-hmm. And check out downloadpresents.shop. It's a lot of cool, awesome stuff, like the shirts you see and the hats and the mugs and all the other cool merch. You too could drink from my husband's face. Or a cool seat. <laughs> <All right. laughs> there's options. There's, there's options. options. But I also heard there's a contest on there going on right now for a Harry Potter clock tower. Mm-hmm. Lego set. Mm-hmm. All you gotta do is check out the website. Like, follow, like, subscribe, follow, subscribe. All that stuff. That's all so that easy. Cool stuff. So easy. And so, you're giving away free stuff. Free yes. stuff. Free stuff. Yeah. Lego wow. clock foot. It's a ninety dollar set. Yeah. So you'd be crazy not to. Right. Check it out. That's down low presents that shop. Creativity Corp. We're here. And remember, together we'll do better. Why? For we are one. And we're out. Go vote, for real though. Like, for real. For real. <laughs> Not for play play, for real drills.